Hello my friends of Katari Labs, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to install the Geological Modeling Library, the Python Geological Modeling Library GenPy. Okay, so uh, for Windows, in Windows. Uh, for this we are going to use Debian under Windows Subsystem for Linux. Um, why we do that? Because we try to do it with the Conda M. We try to do it with the environment in Conda. We try to do it with Docker. However, like the having this library working at full scale in Windows is a challenge, and well, we uh, we do this tutorial as a support material for a coming webinar in geological modeling. So I hope that you can follow us in this tutorial and as well on the open webinar that we are going to give. Okay, so uh, you need to have Debian that you can install it from your Windows Store. It's actually free, so you just look here for Debian. Okay, so just type Debian and and then you just you can install it. And once you find Debian here, you just open um and then you will find it here because you this will be the initial screen of Debian okay uh, for that you need to have Windows subsystem for Linux enabled on your computer I will drop a link about how to do that because it's a previous step okay and uh, once you have Windows subsystem for Linux enabled and the Debian we can continue with this so we are going to to set a username that has to be Hatari because actually this um, Modify some paths that we are going to insert later on. So Hatari, and then we insert a password labs, labs, Hatari labs. Okay. So and then we are going to insert some. Okay. So we are going to install Python, some drivers so for visualization, GDAL, another. So here, this will be also, all of these commands will be on the description of the video. Okay, you just copy and we, uh, with right click you paste. Okay, so we provide the, the password and it's a uh, quite a huge um, it's 900 megabytes yes okay and this will install Qt4 Python pip as well as Python 3 um, get all another another files okay and then the next steps will be to add um, uh, will be to add a Bing file. Be why? Because um, in Windows Subsystem for Linux, the paths of where the executables are located are different. So for that, we need to um, for that we need to create a new. Uh, we need to specify a new environment, a new path environment in, in Windows Subsystem for Linux that is not that are not the default ones. Okay. Otherwise, the uh, what will happen if you don't insert this environment environment variable this path? Okay. Uh, the um, Python won't recognize the installed libraries. Okay. So you will have Python, but Python won't recognize where those libraries are installed. Okay. I'm not an expert on this. Okay. Uh, and this is this procedure by sure can be modified, updated, and by sure that a more related person with on Linux or on Windows or on them uh, could do it better. However, the, this is what I found, and this is what I found that works. Okay, so I am humble of my achievement. I say that it's good. It's not excellent. It's just good. Great. Okay, great. So, okay, so if we, oops. If, 
if we give see which are the files that are here by default are the bash rc and the profile so we are going to create a mkdir so it's the command to to create folders and this is local bin okay so ah, okay so we have to create mkdir local and then mkdir local bin okay mkdir local okay great and then if we type ls local we are going to find that the folder being is already there okay the folder being is already there and we need that okay so we are going to edit the profile file that is the the file that has all the paths okay and here we are going to add the path okay this path is related to the user and my user is Hatari so that's why you have to follow the user the username as well labs is the password okay because that defines this as well I can use another environment that is home um, yeah but if you follow all the steps you shouldn't have you shouldn't have any problem okay I guess so okay control X yes enter so we have uh, modify the profile and then if we and then we have okay we have pro we have updated the profile file but we have to read I mean to interpret this profile file into Linux so it's a source dot profile okay with that we incorporate those paths to our actual session and then if we type m the impact appears those are all the environment variables however here in path appear in the path appears the home hatari local bin that is where the executables of the libraries are going to be installed not all the libraries some libraries uh, will install the executables there okay so then we are going to insert to install a specific version of numpy python no pip 3 install numpy equal equal 1.16.5 that that um is equal equal sorry okay that to the moment of this tutorial it was the latest one okay and then we start, we install okay we type cls no this is in linux clear and then type pip3 install pysci2 Jupyter lab and gempy great so here we have pysci that, that those are files that are required by gempy in order to work okay then it will come all the files and not only the file but also the all the package and the required package so it's quite a lot but here what we install is JupyterLab, GenPy and PySite um, so with that we are going to with this we have Python we have GenPy installed and then we have Jupyter okay as well installing our computer so we uh, late the next step will be to will in the next step what we are going to do is that we are going to show you um, the procedure I mean we are going to prove that GenPy install uh, on the interactive Python shell and as well on a Jupyter lab okay so we have to be patient with this always take some time really um,
Okay, and uh, here um uh, here it says that it has installed Teano and however there are some incompatibilities. Okay, um Mm, uh, yeah, the cool. Well, I have tried. I mean, yesterday I have tried th this procedure and actually GenPy works. Okay, so we hope that you don't find any problem. Okay, great. So then what we do here is source profile. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, okay, so it's clear, clear, and then if we type Python 3, let's say import GenPy, actually, mm -hmm, GenPy in this install, and then say help GenPy. Okay, control X, control C, okay, control Z, okay, and then we can launch Jupyter Lab here as well. Then I copy paste this because I have disabled Microsoft Edge from my computer, so and then I haven't installed any other browser by default, so I have to copy and paste this directly to my computer and then. A new session will appear here that if we start a new notebook and we type import GenPy bigger for you. Let's make it bigger for you. Okay, and then say GenPy and then uh okay, GenPy and then you can have all the models like grid and so on. Okay, so that's it. Um this is the tutorial and this tutorial is as well a previous material for a coming webinar. We hope to see you in the webinar or in any other event from Hattery Labs. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye. Bye.